While many Floridians are dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Debbie, folks in our area are thinking back to Hurricane Michael. Panama City officials say they are striving to create a better community for everyone following Hurricane Michael. Today, city officials held two open house events with Dover Coal and Partners, highlighting the changes they plan to make within Panama City. News Channel 7's Dekevi Angaz joins us in studio. Kivi, how does Panama City plan to revitalize some of its neighborhoods? Nisa, Barry, the Panama City neighborhoods plan targets Glenwood, Millville, and the St. Andrews communities. Today, city officials and members of Dover Coal and Partners focused on zoning issues that currently hinder the development of more efficient communities. Here's what they had to say. Panama City officials are looking towards the future as they continue to rebuild from Hurricane Michael, and they plan to create what citizens want. The vision that the community put forth uh, was walkable, safe streets, resilient open spaces, and vibrant neighborhood downtown. Dover Coal and Partners are working with Panama City leaders to create more efficient neighborhoods. However, they face challenges due to current zoning regulations. Right now, there's, I would say, 20 different uh, zoning categories within Millville, and they're not super cohesive. The current codes restrict options for affordable housing, parking ratios, and community stores. Having just a one-size-fits-all zoning district where it's just commercial or just residential doesn't really make sense when you want it to be walkable. You want to be able to have a mix of uses. Mixed-use zoning would not only allow for small commercial spaces within a neighborhood, but also apartments above commercial buildings. This change won't happen overnight, and residents will need to be patient. This is super long-term stuff. Um, like, the existing zoning code has been around for, for several decades, um, and so this is will be around for a while as well. Um, so, you know, you're not going to really see much, um, you know, you're not going to see, uh, you know, everything happen at once. It's going to be a very long-term thing. City officials will hold an open house for St. Andrews neighborhood tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Oakland Terrace Park Clubhouse. After that, they plan to make revisions based on the feedback they have received. By the end of the year, commissioners will vote to enact these new zoning codes. Gus? All right, thank you, Kiwi. Now you can visit our website for more details on this story.